Hi. I don't know what sound that was, but hello. How are you? Welcome to another day, another week, another manicure. Um, one of these days I'm going to have everything out and ready to go before I start my manicure instead of after I've already done my backfill. So I've got sticky nails right now. I'm trying not to ruin anything, but I want to try to take out, hold on, let me turn off my mail alerts, um, some water slide decals because I want to do another French manicure, but I figured I'd go standard this time and do a white French. I'm not gonna do a pink and white. Um, I'm gonna do kind of like a peach and white. And I wanted to add in some water slide decals. And I had had the idea of doing white and gold, but now I'm thinking maybe white and silver because this gold, um, as you will have seen in another video, does not match the tone of my gold gel paint. My gold gel paint is more of a brassy gold. This is a yellow gold. And I don't wanna have to trace over the water slide decals again. So I'm thinking about switching to silver. I'm not sure which water slides I want to use. Um, I want to try to keep with the season and have it a little bit winter fest festival. Um, but I don't really, it's not like I, I well, wish I knew, not, knew I'd had these over Halloween. Um, but I may just do abstract. Why don't I have peacock feathers in silver? Why are they only in gold? Um, I wanted to do moons and stars. I've seen a lot of these um, decorated French manicures with celestial themes, but I don't seem to have those. Um, I've got cute waving pandas and kitty cats and spiders and spider webs apparently. Um, what do I want to do? Let's separate out the gold and the silver. Shall we? I have another stack of the gold the uh, metallics. I think they're all the same now as what I already have out. If you have any opinions, feel free to shout them out. I'm taking all suggestions. I think I wanna do the honeybee. So I'm going to set those aside and clean up a bit and get all ready to go and I will be back. But while you're waiting, how about you give me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll always know when new videos are available and I will be back shortly. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the Artistic Signature Myth Milo. Um, it's peachy, it's got a little bit of a shimmer and I believe it's somewhat nude, but I'm going to do one coat on my thumb and see how nude it is before I decide if I want to stay with it. I'm not sure. Let's see something a moment. I'm gonna see it next to the Bliss, which is another peach, but it doesn't have any shimmer in it. 
and I think I like this one better. It's a little bit more transparent, a little bit less peach. Hmm. Now they look about the same. All right, I think I'm gonna stick with Miss Milo. I'm going to cure my thumb and then I'm going to go on and finish the rest of my nails on my left hand. All right, so I've gone and done a coat of velvet matte top coat so that I can draw without any bleeding, and I'm going to go in and mark my smile lines. I think of all the manicures I've ever done, why is my table moving? Uh, French is still one of my favorites. It's so classic and classy. It makes your fingers look longer. It's a little bit more challenging to do, especially when you're doing it on yourself, but the payoff is so great. And there's really so many different ways that you can accent it to give it a little something extra. So I'm going to, so I've gone and marked the smile line. I am using gel paint, not gel polish. Have I already ruined my brand new brush? Um, but, um, I'm using an application brush to lay in the, uh, the polish, the paint a little bit thinner. Um, let me get my palette. Um, I'm not using polish because it's a little thin and it moves a little bit more on the nail. And I just like the white, how bright it is in the paint. Make sure you also have a cleanup brush handy so that you can straighten out any lines. And actually, I think I need to get new ones because I've really not treated mine too well. And they're a little caked up. And I'm not on camera. So once you have it the way you like it, you can go and give it a cure. I am going to do a second coat, but I think that looks pretty good. All right, so my thumb is done. I'm gonna go ahead and go and do my other nails. A good trick to doing your nails the same length is to measure the length of the smile line with your brush. So it goes to about the line of the white on the brush. So I'm going to do the same thing on my pointer finger and just mark it. Then I'm going to curve it down on one side and mirror it. Mirror? Mirror. I'm going to mirror it. I'm going to mirror it. Mirror it on the other side. Then I can go in with my application brush and fill in the rest of the area. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain.
something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything within. Oh. Now at this point, I'm going to go and pull down the edge of the smile line so it curves down a little bit more and then fill in that little triangle. All right, I'm gonna check to see if I need to clean anything up with the smile line. It's all pretty good. Just going to maybe touch up this one a little bit. Then I'm going to do a 60 second cure and I'm going to go in and do a second coat. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to use this silver and a long liner and I'm going to do a double line to accent the French. Just following the line that's already there. I'm not dragging, well, I'm not splaying out the bristles. I'm just using the very tip of it to trace that line. And then I'm going to do another one below it. And I'm going to have it connect at the point. I think I may have to switch to a different gel paint. This one's a little thin. I'm not getting the glitter payoff that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that and then I'll move on to the other fingers. And now, I've got plastic stuck to my finger. Uh, we're moving on to the next step. Apparently, that was an extra piece of paper. Uh, the water slide decals come with a little piece of plastic film over top. You're gonna want to remove that. And you're gonna want to pick out the decals that you want to use. So I like these little uh, kind of abstract ones. 
I don't know if they're abstract. They're all kind of abstract. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, it looks more like a, um, a wasp versus a bee because it's got the stinger up front. But we're going to use it anyway. Uh, maybe I'll cut off that little piece. And you want to cut as close to the design as possible. You want to going to want to get some water. And a brush. Preferably one that doesn't have your swatches strung over it. So you've got your water slide decal, you've got your jelly stamper, you've got your little bit of water and a brush, and you're going to take your uh, stamp and you're going to put it upside down onto the jelly stamper. Then you're going to wet your brush and wet the back of the water slide decal. You don't have to completely soak it, just a little bit. You'll see it'll start soaking it up. And then you'll gently start pulling towards you until the backing comes off of the water decal. Then you can take your lint-free wipe and gently pick up some of that water and decide where you want to put your stamp. I think I want to put it on the white part so that you really see it. right there and that's all there is to it so I'm going to continue with the rest of the designs I actually did want to put a coat of base first which I completely forgot to do so I'm going to do that on the rest of my nails that way if I want to put the design somewhere else it'll actually stick the water slide decals will not stick to a matte surface you need a tacky layer so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to cure and do the rest of my water slide decals. Alrighty, so we've got all of our decals down. I've got a few extra over here, which I'll just use for my right hand. And now we're going to base coat again, top coat, and we're going to be all done. All right, so we are done with another manicure. I always seem to have some gel product on my fingers. I need to figure out how to stop doing that. Um, I'm gonna end up just buffing it off with the side of my nail pile. Just like so. And now I'm going to finish up with some hand cream and some cuticle oil and a request to please like and subscribe. Um, I would really appreciate it. If you made it this far, why not just hit that like button and definitely that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you always know when new videos are available. Um, our cuticle oil for today is Elixir from Madam Glam. Um, it's what I got in the um, advent calendar last year and a little Spoiler alert, I got it in this year's <laughs> advent calendar. So uh, 
little disappointed in that, but it's a great um, cuticle oil. I just don't need two bottles of the same one. Uh, but that's going to do it for me for tonight. Uh, once again, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below. All the information on the products I use will be in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Building castles out of sand, reaching for the